Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to react to Lightsome new album, Honey or Spice. They're finally back, their previous album was cute but they definitely can do better. I hope I will love this album, let's see how it goes. Hello guys before starting this video, I wanted to present you a new K-pop merch shop, Utopia Land. It is owned by my friend and I'm trying to help her. So she designed it herself, right now it's mostly BTS but she is planning to add some other K-pop groups so you can leave your request for her in the comments below. Anyway she ships everywhere in the world, I would leave the link of her shop either in the description or in the comments section. Please go check her work. Now let's start the video. The song kicks off with a lively and rhythmic beat that adheres to well-known girl group conventions. When it comes to the chorus, it takes a funky twist on this style, incorporating unique tones and rhythms for a captivating experience. While it was an enjoyable track, to be frank, it's not something I envision adding to my playlist. Nevertheless, the music video was truly impressive, particularly the set designs. Overall, I'd rate it 8 tenths. House music becomes the driving force here, complemented by a delightful electric guitar. The song's core revolves around staying true to oneself while immersing in fantastic melodies and savoring each musical instance. I found the chorus quite appealing, as it had a catchy quality. All in all, it's a good song, deserving of an 8 tenths. It envelops us in the realm of R&B with its seamless beats and heavenly vocals. The song exudes profound emotions, featuring sincere lyric delivery and exquisite harmonies that combine to create a truly distinctive listening experience. This single unveils a facet of L-I-G-H-T-S-U-M we haven't encountered previously. For me, this is the standout track, as it showcases their gorgeous vocals while venturing into new territory. It was truly splendid, earning an 8.2, 10. This one is infused with disco vibes and a carefree, playful atmosphere. It presents an upbeat, catchy composition with a delightful aura. It radiates a summery feeling, and I can easily imagine enjoying it while lounging on the beach. I might listen to it from time to time, it earns an 8.2, 10 in my book. This track masterfully fuses elements of trap and EDM, resulting in an attention-grabbing composition right from the start. The overall arrangement exudes strength, and the seamless blend of vocals and rap is exceptionally impressive. It would undoubtedly be an electrifying experience to witness this song performed live. The potential for an exciting choreography is something I'm eagerly anticipating. All in all, I'd rate it 8.1, 10. The album wraps up with the poignant pop ballad track, Candle Light, graced by enchanting piano melodies that evoke deep emotions. The members' vocal performance is truly exceptional, resulting in a well-rounded and emotionally moving conclusion. Despite not being a big fan of ballads, I find enjoyment in listening to it, and I can certainly see myself returning to it when the mood strikes. A solid 8 tenths. It was a commendable album with predominantly great songs. Nevertheless, while I appreciated and enjoyed some of the tracks, I don't envision revisiting the album. There was a certain element that seemed to be lacking for it to leave a truly lasting impression. Nonetheless, it remains a commendable release 8 tenths. Overall, it was a pretty good release, but it lacked a bit of impact. That's all for today's video, I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and please share your opinions in the comments. Also, follow me on Instagram, you'll find the link in the description. I'll try to be more active there and engage with you all. I'll see you in the next video. Love you.